Good day. Right now I'm reading Time Gate Reaper. So right now there are 135 episodes. So this webcomic has been going on for quite a while. So or or, or the creators have been doing like the pages at a really fast rate. Uh, either is pretty impressive in my opinion. Uh, but let's see what this is about. Read from right to left. Okay, so this is one of those uh, manga style comics, I believe. Like you read one from right to left. Uh, as, as in, like, not as in read the direction right to left. In which case, a death of promise. That, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop. I, I'm not going to do that. A young man, bringing the promise of death on his skin, a sinister government made up of the undead, an infamous scythe murderer who has risen once again from the shadows, and the fed up girl with a hefty score to settle with all of them. Okay, let's begin reading. I hope ten. I, I'm not sure if ten is where we start. So, so yeah, this is yeah. Okay, wait, volume two. Is there another page to the right of this? Uh, yes, there are. Okay, yeah, I think. Oh wait, is there like a sort by um sort? No, I I think you know. Yeah, I think the also controls how it's sorted. But yeah, so. I haven't really minded this uh, from newest to oldest style of sorting before, but this is like starting to get pretty long. So it would be far more convenient to uh, to put the episodes from oldest to newest, unless it's a kind of a gag a day comic, in which case it doesn't really matter. But this looks like a plot driven comic. So, uh, so yeah, it would be preferable IMO. And I don't think Webtoon has this like start reading button either. It's just, it's just you have to like manually go through the thing to find where you want to start. Uh, start before you read. The following pages with this forward attached have been updated. At the moment we are only planning on refurbishing chapter one, which means after chapter one might be in for a culture shock. Okay. Uh, before. Booger face done lol dot so, so I assume you kind of uh redrew chapter one and the art's pretty good in chapter one, but chapter two art is uh kind of old so it looks a bit different. Uh stop being dumb, accurate A. Eh? Uh, after he's just annoying. Uzuki Kazahara, age 17, claims she doesn't like drama. <laughs> uh, he reeks a great A bullshit and it pisses me off that no one else seems to care. Okay. Right, okay, yeah, so this is the old art and this is new art. The old art, like, looks pretty good in its own way. Uh, but yeah, I guess they just, uh, the art style just evolved. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be different from chapter one to chapter two because they redid chapter one. Um, okay. We hope the eventual change in quality and style doesn't affect your reading experience along the way and assure you that the art quality does naturally progress to that of the new redrawn pages. I think it's a little more fun that way anyway, Wink. I think that's just part of the webcomic experience. Uh, yeah, so I'm like even surprised you chose to redo your old art because it's like it's really not bad. Like, I guess the hand could have used, the hand definitely improved. Like, but, but otherwise, like, that that's pretty good. Like, I, I would have read that still. Uh, and, like, drawing is a lot of work. So, I know, like, you do you, but I personally don't find it generally worth it to redraw your old uh, panels while you could be drawing new stuff, I guess. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you, and we hope you enjoy Timegate Reaper. Okay, let's begin. This comic is read right to left, like a manga if you're into that sort of thing. Okay, if I read I left to right, then like, okay, <laughs> anyway. Okay, papers falling down, uh, bandaged person falling down, uh, falling down, are they the same, no, uh, maybe? I fear I will not wake tomorrow, so I will tell my story today. 9998, I've never liked the cold. Uh, bubbles. But right now, it's all I have. Okay, oh yeah, this is in colour. I thought this was black and white. Well, unless it's one of those, like, splash of colour for important moments kind of deal. Uh, right now, it's all I have. The cold. Uh, 
Because if I can feel the cold, it means it's not too late. I'm sequence start. Okay. The time gate reaper. Okay, so yeah, the title's read left to right. Um, obviously, maybe, yeah. I know, I know why I start. Like titles are like, I guess it is, it is pretty obvious. It should be read left to right. Anyway, uh, let's let's move on. As yeah, so, so I'm just looking at the shading, it's kind of similar to the style I'm going for at the moment in my first web comic. Like there's like uh, gradient, like there's like. Well, I'm doing it in grayscale, but it's like not not screen tone shading for the for the actual like values, but like there is like this hatchy thing. So okay, um, Mitsuhiro Mina Minoto. I I kind of suck at pronouncing Japanese names, by the way. Well, anime names, I'm not sure if it's <laughs> anyway. Uh, there's at least one odd person in every instance of society. If you can't name them, it's probably you. Unless you happen to know Mitsuhiro Mina Minoto. Uh, if we're adhering to most requirements that make someone a decent guy, then Mitsuhiro meets them by the skin of his perfect teeth. Okay. Yeah, that, that shading is uh, kind of like what I'm going for. Like, there's like the different values are like they're not screen toned they're just like gray scaled so okay i'm glad um someone else is also making that choice it makes me feel validated because i thought hmm should i go with screen tones like with grayscale, scale like print poorly or something but like someone else is also going for this style so yeah i feel very validated it's it's a weight off my mind that it wasn't a bad choice on my part according to everyone else there's nothing wrong with him He's got more than enough people clamoring after him to vouch on his behalf. Objectively speaking, he's perfect in every way. It's disgusting. Feast your eyes. Yashiro Takahashi, best friend number two, age 17, self-proclaimed badass. Uh, you know, you're not convincing anyone that you don't give a shit about him. This is not convincing. Wait, so is this the same scene that is in that example demo thing looks like it probably yuzuki okay best friend number two um so she's not best friend number one I, i'm not sure um i guess she's the main character and uh this is best friend number two but we haven't met best friend number one yet somehow yeah this is that same scene in the demo at the beginning uh not convincing. He's annoying. Uh, he was a, yeah, yeah. We've reeks of great A bullshit and it pisses me off that no one else seems to care. Yeah, I, I assume this guy is uh, that that guy that's introduced. Like his hair seems longer though. Um, so I'm not sure, maybe. Yeah, in fact, this guy, this drawing seems more like that guy, IMO. Um, anyway. Come on, Yusuke, you're no fun when you get like this. I'm allowed to hate who I want to hate, thank you. You're okay, but with good reason. Accurate? Sure, if you're representing how much you need personal health. Uh, my name is Usuki Kazahara. I'm going to give him a stinky mustache, hee hee hee. Yusuke, please, this has to stop. Um, hmm. With, well, Misuhiro might be fine in hearing, to the word perfect, I find myself more at home with the word average. An average student, an average friend. I have a scar on my right cheek, do you? Oh yeah, you do. Uh, an overall, an average teenager with a scar on her cheek. That's fine, average teenagers can have scars on their cheeks. Um, so, Mitsuhiro. Yeah, I, I assume that was, in fact, the drawing of Mitsuhiro. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna grab my stuff, okay? And I, I'm at the bottom of the food chain. Okay. Just gotta admire the, uh, the blonde people. Like, yeah, it's, it, it still looks like good, even when they're like featureless. And that, that shot, yeah. 
I'm just I'm just like intently studying the art of this comic because like it's kind of similar to the style I'm going for, like in terms of like being uh, being manga-ish, I guess, and the shading, but like yeah, and the and the values. Yeah, I need to pay attention to the values because I kind of seem to like default to like too white, uh, but like in certain panels, you gotta like shift the values a bit to better effect. Uh, keep your head down, keep your head down. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Don't uh, look at uh, that guy you hate being popular because he's perfect or something. Uh, slide. Wait, is he that same guy as in the beginning? Because his hair seems shorter in this image. Like about the same length as what you drew. Um, well, maybe his hair, hair was always that length. I just thought it was longer for some reason. Uh, anyway, where were we? Your name's Uzuki, right? You don't know my name? Oh, I'm sorry, I just wanted to be sure. Though I suppose this was a silly question, huh? Uh, yeah, Suzuki. Sorry, you just caught me on a bad day. Uh, grip. Okay. Very bad day. So you decided you want to die today, huh? Wanted to go out with a little art show. Put him down, Uzuki. Hand it over. Come on, Uzuki. I just gave back your knife privileges. Uh, like I needed your permission. Besides, it was self-defense. Uh, I'm sure it was. Get to class and leave Mr. Hero alone. Yeah, yeah. Not good enough. If I see you by my locker again, you'll wish you didn't know my name, Mr. Hero Miramoto. Okay. 815737. Okay. Uh, I, let's review the material from last semester. That's like uh, triangles. And uh, set theory? I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I do not recall any math class that resembles this in any way whatsoever, to be entirely honest. Um, maybe they just use different notation in Japan or something. Uh, anyway. Okay. Uh, Put the doodles away, Kasahara. Oh, please, I don't need any of this. Just leave me alone. Oh, shut up. It's not like I can't hear you. Uh, admin's kid, how'd she make it to seniors year? Okay, make sure you get the rest of that assignment done, done so I know you studied. Yeah, basically, yeah, assignments, like, the teachers only really care about you getting it done so they know you've studied and, and don't even actually look at them. And that's exactly why people don't do them. And it's just, like... The system is not incentivizing the right things because, like, eh. anyway, yo, Zuki, wait up. Uh, was that Mr. Hero? I'm I saw trying to strike up a conversation with you earlier. Oh, yeah, that idiot was trying to find an opening, I guess. He even asked me my name. I guess five years of attending the same school means nothing. Huh, weird. Maybe he was just nervous. Whatever, I don't know what he was trying to pull. So last year, why try to be chummy now of all times? Maybe he has a uh, message carved on his hand uh, of some numbers or something. <laughs> Maybe he sees it as his last year to take a shot. Sounds like the guy wants to die before graduation. Sounds like you're hoping he takes his shot. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, who has lunch for me today? No money again, huh? Duh. Well, I suppose you need your strength. Yeah, doesn't strategics and defense start today? Ugh. Completely forgot. Just kill me now. What are you so upset about? You always do well in self-defense classes. Yeah, but this is the first one in three years that's mandatory. Those self-defense classes might have made sense years ago, but it's not like people usually leave the city walls anymore. Just a silly formality that they're mandatory every couple years or so, so we can't blame the school for not training us. Squick. Okay, is that a... 
I'm not sure what those are. Olives, I know. Um, if strategics and defense is just going to be another class where we kick the shit out of each other, then what's the point? Didn't you just kick the shit out of Mr. Hero this morning? Shut up. I'm excited for the bestiary part of the class. I'm hoping it will be worth the torture. If we even make it to the bestiary lessons, heard the guy who teaches the class killed one of his students last year. Oh, fuck off, he did not. Really gonna fall for seven year student gossip. What are you, what are you doing talking to them anyway? You know where the, you know where 12 years, right? Dude, have you seen his face? It looks like someone who took a trip down the upper end of a cheese grater. Heard he took on a behemoth with just his own two hands and lived. Idiot, of course he lived. He's alive and teaching the class, isn't he? Guys fall for the dumbest shit. Being seniors means we're supposed to be doing the hazing now, not the other way around. Seniors, what a crew to spend my last year with. Uh, well, I mean, unless you drop out, you, you are going to always spend your last years with seniors. Uh, or, of course, unless you're a loner, but then you have, wouldn't have any crowd crew. So, uh, eh. Yoshiro, when I was the new kid in, my, in school many years ago, she was the first to my rescue. Guess she was just as outcast as I was, albeit for, a different, for different reasons, I assure you. Mikumi, I only knew, known him a couple years, but he's grown on me much like Yashihiro. I met him through Saichi. He's been by my side for as long as I can remember. Even when we're apart, we're, we always manage to find our way back to each other. Uh, it's sure a blessing to have such friends by my side, people who have been, people who have my back even through my flaws. Although sometimes I feel like I've gone off too easy. Yes, I owe the universe a favor for ba bailing me out on this one. Most people wouldn't be so tolerant of someone like me, who uh, tries to stab people because uh, you they irritate you. Uh, it's times like these uh, that I know I should enjoy it while it lasts. But unfortunately, you never know when the good times happen until they're already gone. Uh, okay, someone walking past your table, I guess. Or, or is that that guy you hate? I, I keep, I mean, I can't pronounce his name, so it's hard for me to remember it. Like, I remember people's name better in anime because they actually pronounce it on screen. So, like, I actually know the pronunciation. Uh, had I known that they would end with you, Mitsuhiro Mi, Mina, Minoto, they known they'd end with you. Wait, this is a different group. Um... What the hell? That's not his usual table. What's got you breathing down my neck all of a sudden? And how can I make it stop before you get yourself hurt? Mizuki? Mizuki, huh? We're just wondering, who do you want to get paired up with in strategics and defense? Oh well, the obvious answer is anyone that I'm friends with for the sake of compatibility. So any of you guys. But if it ends up being random, I'd be worried about ending up with someone who's just been skirting by all these years. If I'm gonna be stuck taking the class, I like it to at least be somewhat challenging. But if it's a choice as to who we get paired up with, that scary coach guy really had re had better be ready for a team of four. Uh, Zuki of all people, this doesn't make sense. A timer of this length. And it's exactly the same right down to the second. Oh, she's going to die in uh, that time. What? Uh, why are you, why are you suicide falling? Monsters, natural disaster, murder, drowning. Uh, I assume someone's going to, you're watching her because she's going to die or something. I, I'm not sure. Oh, hello. What's someone on of your kind doing all the way out here in Edithiel? Ding dong. Okay, bell ring. Um, uh, two hours of running, sweating, and beating the crap out of each other. And we have to endure this until the end of the year? I might just drop out of school entirely. Suzuki, your boyfriend's coming this way. Oh, come on. Didn't you get the message? Okay, there. Excuse me, may I speak to the short miss for a moment? Uh, what do you think they've got going on? Beast me. Yuzuki's hates. Mizuki hates the guy's guts. I've, uh, something 
at the stuff in her bitch book. Uh, I've peeked at the stuff in her bitch book. I'm pretty sure she's planning a murder. Okay. All right, asshole, this had better be good. I came here to warn you. There's someone in the school you need to stay away from. What are you on today? You're the only one I want to stay away from. So why don't you just leave me alone? You don't understand. I know you couldn't give less than two shits about me, but I'm trying to look out for you here. Quiet. You're being weird, and people are sta starting to stare. This is more important right now. Please just believe me for one, Suzuki. I wouldn't be bothering you like this if I wasn't absolutely certain you need to be careful. Or of what, do I ask? It's too complicated to explain to you right now. Grab. I'm not here to play your stupid games, Minam Minami Moto. Leave me alone. Suzuki, wait. This is the second and last chance, last time I'm letting you get away with whatever it is you've been trying to pull. Take the hint and count your fucking blessings. Let me guess, Mitsuhiro being stupid again? It's really pushing it today. Mr. Hero, are you okay? I'm fine. Brew? I assume that's a whistle sound. Um, that's a weird whistle. Welcome to strategics and defense class. I'm your instructor and trainer. You will address me as Coach Ruin. If you don't have the guts to handle it, then I can assure you this class will be the last until the end of the school year. You will end up dead. Uh, okay. Uh, What's with the book, boy? Well, uh, literacy paves the road to academic success and, uh, get out of my class. Uh, it's mandatory, unfortunately. Uh, roll call. Make yourself known when I call your name. Uh, okay, a bunch of roll calls. I don't think I'm going to, okay, so, uh, unless, okay, so this is, Shuto Kaniji. Uh, this is Solomon Cries. Uh, probably Crease or some. I know. But either way. Uh, and, and this is ya Yashi Hiro Takanahi. He's part of uh, the main character's group. Uh, although I still can't pronounce their names. Uh, Mitsuhiro Minamoto. Uh, the MF course is still in this class. Yeah. All right. That seems to be it. Hey, Mr. Ruin, man, you're gonna go and forget me, are you? Or did the office screw up? I just transferred from knitting of all fucking places. Can you believe this shit? Yes, well, get in line. Just like Ikashi's description. All right. I guess it works out that the Rus that Russell's gone. Found you. Mitsuhiro Minamoto. Uh, whistle. Warm up with laps. 15 around the track. God, I didn't want to be taking these stupid classes again. Hey, you're still better off than the rest of us. I wouldn't be complaining. Uh, quit flirting and get those legs moving, Jeremy. I, I want to see a sweat in the folds of your ass. Uh, do not peek in the folds of your students' asses. Just don't. Uh, that's creepy. Um, okay. Uh, you're lying on grass. He hasn't even broken a sweat. Is he trying to show off? Wink. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Is he taunting me? Why is it working? Off the ground, weaklings. Come on, move it. Line up. You will now be arranged into teams of two. You will stay with your respective partner until the end of the year. Over the course of the year, you will learn everything about your partner. Their strengths, their weaknesses, everything. Please let us pick. Please let us pick. Team one will be... Damn it, Unifria. Please give me Seiji. Carmen and Luma, Team 2, Rhea and Amber, Team 4, Yashihiro, uh, Takanashi and Shuto Kaniji. Oh, better luck next time, Yashihiro. Team 5, Sa Saichi Drami and Mikumi Jishiru. Oh, this is bullshit. Team 6, Saru and Solomon Crease, probably. I know. Uh, hmm, Solomon and Saru, huh? Alexandria and Damien, there's something up about those two. Matthias and Seraph. Team 9 will be uh, Yuzuki and, yes, I, I, I like, I, it, surprising absolutely no one ever. We begin an unsuspecting journey of life, death, friendship, love, and betrayal. We hope you enjoy the rest, the ride with us. 
Okay, so like I, I want to look back at the description and uh, remind myself who are all the people involved. Okay, young man bearing the promise of death on the skin. I assume that's uh, uh, that guy she hates that tries to warn her about something. I I I, I can't do names. Okay, <laughs> uh, since the government made up the undead, uh, don't know who that is. Uh, infamous scythe murderer, don't know who that is. And fed up girl with a hefty score to sell with all of them. That's our main character, I believe. Okay, um, I think I'll read one more. Uh, one more. Yeah, finish chapter one. Yes, finish chapter one, and then I'll read the comments. Um, okay. We hope. Yep, that this is the art style. Art, art, art shift reminder. Uh, okay. How the hell is that possible? Did he know? Is that why it's been tailing me all day? Might actually have to kill Mr. Hero. Is murder really so bad? Uh, can I really murder him if he didn't even break a sweat running? Um, after all, Mr. Hero feels like a real, very real threat at this point. I might find a way to hide his body. No problem. If none of that works. Worst case scenario, I leave a detail forever. Like a life on the run. Maybe I'll take the game with me if they're feeling up to it. We could be forest nymphs and we could never have to worry about anything again. Need to ask Rune for a new partner. Kashihira, hurry up and get with your partner. Sweet Unifera, I'm so sorry for you, Utsuki. Still in shock. Uh, got a little blood. Happens all the time. Touch me and I'll make sure your next nap will be at the bottom of a Casco coast. Uh, well, that doesn't feel like a precautionary response. I get that this may not be your most favorable setup, but you can't get angry at me for it. Oh, please don't act so innocent. You asked Coach Ruin for this, didn't you? You don't believe in fate? I believe in bullshitting. That wasn't the right response, bro. Like, just, just say it. Um, no, I didn't ask him to set us up <laughs> together. You know, I couldn't help but notice something about you. Pray tell what? Your eyes. Those are aura reading eyes. I did. If I didn't know better, I could safely assume you're on a descent, unless you're self-trained. I noticed them earlier, you know. When you got your precious knife taken away by your mother. So that was, yeah, she's the, um, like, the kid of someone in the school. That's, like, what those other people were talking about in Chapter 1. Uh, oh, pardon me, Miss, pardon me, Secretary Kasahara. Yes, yeah, Secretary's kid or something. Uh, it's just a perk, no big deal. What, the aura reading or the nepotism? <laughs> Nothing special about aura reading. Mm, I disagree. I think it's special. Funny, I don't recall asking you. Quit trying to get under my skin. You still me owe me an explanation for what you're trying to pull before class. Well, I, I'm sure he would have explained if you didn't, you know, threaten him with murder. Uh, what were you trying so hard to warn me about? Unless it really was just some kind of game to waste my time. I have the right to know. And he probably would have told you earlier if, again, that doesn't mean... Well, actually, no, he, he did say it's too complicated to explain. Never mind. Yeah, you have a point. Uh, doesn't mean you should. Got you. You owe me. Excuse me? Smoke. You've been stalking me all day. Assuming you get off easy with that pretty boy head still attached to your shoulders, I've got nepotism on my side. It will just take one complaint for your life here at the academy to be ended entirely. It's just a bluff, but he clearly doesn't know that. Hmm. Her name is Clavanova. She's an angel. An angel? What has that got to do with anything? Angels are special creatures. They use holy magic and are able to see the lifespans of any living creature. Much like how you are able to see people's true colours. Okay, so if she can see his true colours, then... Uh, hmm. uh, it's by law, though, that they do not reveal their lifespans to their respective owners. Uh, so as not to twist the hands of fate. Okay, so... So, Uzuki, they can see lifespans. Are you talking about me? Just please don't let her near you. I'll be doing the same. You said her name is Clavanova, right? Thought angels weren't allowed outside of their own kingdom? They're not. Oh. Well, until I see this girl for myself, I'm not convinced. I'm convinced you're being an idiot. You'd be thinking of me as an idiot without Clavanova's help. You'd be thinking of me as an idiot without. You seem pretty spiteful towards me. Think without uh, thinking. I, I don't. Th this I, I'm not sure what that is about. Um, it's far from spite, Mister Hero. It's not my fault. Your friends can't see through you like I can. 
No, it's something far worse, something not I'm not something I'm ashamed to admit. Aura reading isn't fair game. But I'll let you think it's spite for as long as it takes. Okay. Uh I assume this is her yeah, yeah, her thoughts are like in black speech bubbles. You shouldn't be here, Saru. Fill my quota for this month. I'm free to go whenever I want. What are you trying to do? Just here to have a little fun, yeah? I wanted to see this little project of yours up close. Mikumo heard it from Ikashi, and I heard it from Mikumo. How did you know of it? I don't want you causing any trouble, Saru. And I and you won't get any. I just wanted to get a closer look at the host subjects. They're interesting. Especially the tall one. Are you sure they're going to be able to handle it? Ikashi handpicked the host himself using his own data. There is a very high success rate, so as long as everything goes to plan, until the hostages are ready to be taken to the other side and we wait and watch. Okay, whistle. Class dismissed. That was single-handedly the worst experience of my life. And we get to do it all again on Wednesday. Hmm. Uh, looking at people. I'm gonna get out of here, Yashiro. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see ya. Never seen you around before. See who you really are. Can't believe it. Mitsuhiro was right. Clavanova. But your soul, what are those things attached to it? Things attached to your soul. Uh, not sure which part is her soul and which part is the the, the black squiggle thing. This maybe I am not sure. Um, are you following me to hero? So shit, what should I do? Uh, crap, she's definitely following him. I'm gonna give you one chance to turn around and leave me be. It's probably the only chance you'll get to return to your kingdom where you belong. Don't pretend like you know our ways. I gave up any chance to, re to return a long time ago. I have no need for the Angel's Code any longer. Fine, so if you abandon your people, what business could you possibly have with me? Don't you wish to know your fate? I can see the numbers counting down your life. You're preaching to the choir, lady. I'm already well aware, so your job here is done. You're an angel yourself? Not even close, and I don't plan to be. Not if this is how they end up. Surely my lifespan isn't the only reason you've been stalking me today. So, how'd you do it then? Perhaps you're Adithi... Adithilin? Adithilin? Then, then again, you don't look Adithilin. Uh, or maybe you're just being naturally gifted with Inferius magic. Or was it all a bluff? Uh, oh, I see. Back off. Numbers or... Yeah. I guess that's the guy with numbers with death on his skin as the description read. Come on, I'm just impressed. Not a lot of humans walking around with scars like those. We need to leave. Uh, quite, those are quite a lot of zeros. I bet your numbers are somewhere on your body too. Wonder how long it'll take for me to find them. Back off, you might be an angel, but I'm not above defending myself. Hmm, not like I need to go looking for them. I can see them with my own eyes. You're not the only one with those numbers, you know. You know how rare that is, Mitsuhiro Minamoto, to have two sets of numbers the exact same right down to the very last second. Don't. What do you want from me? Is this supposed to be some kind of blackmail? Just curious as to why you're not. After all, I know she would be. Isn't that right? She knows we're here. Should have left when I had a chance. Too late for that now. I can't do this. Please don't make me do this. Two against one. You can take her. I still have time to escape. Too late. Um, you also have an extra knife. I'm not ready to do this, not today. You have no choice. Flip. Leave him alone. God damn it, Uzuki. Get out of here. I'll take care of this. Surely you would love to hear your fate. Seems like this one's been hiding it from you. Uzuki, just go. You should listen to him. I've been instructed to bring Minamino. Minami Moto back with me. You'll be spared, assuming you don't do anything stupid. Stop holding back. The only, you're the only one making stupid decisions. It's two against one here, clever Nova. And yet you're the ones who are going to die here. It's in the numbers after all. 
Suki, you stupid, save yourself. I'm sorry, Mitsuhiro. No, I'm not good at listening. Cling. Shing. Okay, uh, they did say you're gonna die, like, by the powers of, I know, um, I probably wouldn't, but like, let's see what happens, fight back. Suki, for God's sakes, now's not the time to start caring about me. Uh, you think I want you alive? I couldn't care less about you, Mitsuhiro, and you know that. And yet, you still seriously think we can be friends, as if I'm not far more dangerous than anyone else in this God's forsaken kingdom. So you want uh, info from the angel or something? Um, I'm not sure what you're doing here. Uh, well, guess what? I'm not gonna let some rogue angel have all the fun. I'm gonna let her take away the thrill of killing you myself. I'm not gonna, okay, so you wanna kill him yourself. Okay, I'm not gonna let her take away the thrill of killing you myself. Hmm, okay, I understand Izuki. No more secrets then. Close your eyes, please. Just this once. Peek. Eh? It's far from a spite, Mitsuhiro. Something far worse, something I'm ashamed to admit. It's fear. Fear of this soul hiding in plain sight. Fear of a soul that rivals my own. Fear of the monster disguising himself as a man. I'm sorry, Uzuki. But you're going to die. Okay, everyone dies. Join the discussion at our official Discord. Okay, but like, I guess. Hmm. Anyway, that's chapter one. So I'm going to go back and read the comments because that's what I do. Well, also, I'm going to go back to the description. Wait, oh, wait, that was the description. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Sinister so Government and Infamous Scythe Murderer. Uh, we still haven't met those two yet, I believe. Either way, uh, let's read the comments. Okay, come on. Comments, comments, okay. I read s and M class instead of s and D class, and you won't be the first one. The class, that class is until next semester. Okay, says Sadist King. Uh, this is too funny. The way he punched that kid was gold. I want to see sweat in the folds of your ass. I know, right? Uh, I know here, but I want to say the art is great. And I like the story so far. I agree. Yay, we love new people. Glad you hear this. like the story. I'm happy to have you here. Oh. She got too much attitude. Someone show concern and you want to punch them? Sorry, I'm rooting for the hot guy already. Lol. lol so how is she allowed in school with no shoes on? Because nepotism, I assume. Uh, I'm smelly oak. Is that a ship? I smell. Uh, that's so far to catch up. Music, it was me in high school, though. Well, uh, hope you got the binging blood in you. Binging blood. She, like, eats something at a rapid pace. I do not recall her doing that. Um, okay. Anyway, next page. Yeah, so there's only, like, th this, like, it seems to be running for quite a while, and the art's pretty good, so I'm kind of surprised, like, there's only, like, 14 or, like, six comments in this case, but, like, unless this isn't your main site, or, like, hmm, interesting, uh, intense, in, interested to know what's going to happen next. Thankfully for you guys, Time Gate Reaper has been in production for a year and a half now, mainly on other platforms. Ah, yeah, so this wasn't your main platform. We'll be posting a chapter a week until we've caught up to what we're working now. So there's definitely more to come. Holy crap, it's only episode two. I know, right? Uh, this is completely irrelevant to the story, but why does she have no shoes? I just started reading this, and I want to know this as well. No shoes forever. Also, someone died. That's great. Yes, because people dying is great. Well, I mean, it is. I mean, anyway. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to leave it off here for now. Um, goodbye.